Good morning, YouTubers. It's Juno the Boat Guy. I'm here in Boca Raton, Florida to show you one of my newest listings, a 2016 Boston Whaler 370 Outrage. Now, this boat is a one-owner boat. It's always been lift-kept, and there's still warranty on the boat. It's powered by triple Mercury 350s with joystick. It has a new Panda generator, so you have AC in the cabin and AC in the helm. Again, this boat has no bottom paint, and it's always sat on a lift, which is very, very important. Now, the boat is always covered. We get it detailed about once a week or every two weeks, just depending on when our detail guy is available. But the owner keeps this boat meticulous. It's very clean, and I would say it's the best Boston Whaler 370 Outrage on the market. The boat is, is just as beautiful as the house behind me. So I'm going to go take a look. Let's go preview her. So here she is. She's on a lift now, she's covered up. So we do always keep the covers on unless we have a showing or my client's gonna take the boat out. So you see we have covers for the table, the big sun lounge here, here in the helm as well, and for the motors. So again, this boat is in great, great, great condition and has warranty which expires next year that can be extended look at the beautiful color i love the side door here so i'm going to go ahead and take all the covers off and we'll start our walk through video here's a good exterior look all the upholstery is off radar is on and working so here she is on the lift again as i mentioned no bottom paint always lift kept one owner she has 235 hours on her engines with warranty still remaining that can be extended. All the covers are off. And she is detailed very regularly. So I love this huge port side door here. The ladder inserts right there and goes down into the water. Here is your fold down transom bench seat. So right now I have it out so you guys can visually see it on your port side. You're going to have your live well right here the cup holder some extra rod holders here's a good look at the mercury 350s which are always covered we always keep them covered at all times you have your transom door here as well just give you guys a better closer look again this boat's always detailed and clean here she is and she is equipped with uh, taco outriggers here's some rocket launchers here in your leaning post you have your Kenyan grill, another live well as well. Here's your little storage uh, for your fishing equipment if you like to fish or if you like to utilize for something else you can. Here's some of your breakers. Here's your sink right here. I have a little, little mirror there as well. Okay, cup holders forward. Again will be your bilge axis here. I'll come back to that. Here we are at the helm. You have your three bolster seats here with helm AC. Here you can see your radar is on, on your Raymarine hybrid touches. We have two of them. Here's your Mercury Vessel View 7, uh, which is equipped on this boat. I don't know if you can see the engine hours there. 235 hours on the port. Uh, the center as well. And the starboard. Here is your joystick control right here. And your fusion radio, control your zones. Again, here's your helm AC, here's your vents right there. Here's a look at the cabin. Again, <clears throat> she can easily sleep two in here. We keep it nice and detailed. You have your TV down here, your sink. Uh, <clears throat> here's your head and your shower access. So if you want to shower, you can. Uh, no problem. You have a fridge down there, so this is a good look at the cabin. It's a very good size. You know, the owner now is probably a little over, you know, 5'11 and fits in here very comfortably. And you can be 6'3 and still lay in here. He stayed on the boat for a weekend in Bahamas on here, had no problem, and enjoyed it. So, and yeah, it's a pretty spacious cabin. I can stand up in there very easily. I'm 6'1 and a half, so you have plenty of room, and it's a good little weekend getaway if you want to run to the Bahamas. It's nice you have these little fold out seats that come out so you have them both on port and starboard i'm gonna pull it all the way out because we have the little cooler here 
your fresh water wash down here. And uh, on this side, I missed it. You can actually store your raw holders, your gaff, give your fish boxes on both port and starboard side. So let's move it forward. Here's your other fold out seat here. If you want to store some things you can here. Here's your nice sun lounge. I love this, it's very spacious. You have cup holders here, so you can comfortably lay out three if you want. Here's your U-shaped seating all the way in the bow. This turns into a huge sun lounge area, so this is on an actuator go down, be nice and flush. You can take that off. There's a table, there's a synthetic teak there, so you can have your lunch or dinner up here if you want to uh, with no problem. Again, rod holders throughout. It's gonna be your locker there for your anchor, uh, right in there. Again, cleats forward, keep cleats forward, more rod holder access. And then what's nice as well, you see radar working. You have uh, steps that go right up to the T-top if you want. Actually, these are Grand Slam, not Taco. Pardon me, that previously. So uh, there's your outriggers there. Take a good look. Again, this boat is very meticulously maintained. Let's go take a look. There's a look in the bilge. And there's a little water in there. Always kind of sits in there a little bit. But there's a good look at the bilge here. There's your panda generator. Down South Florida for you, now I'm soaking wet. But if you like this boat and you would like further detail, please email or call me. Please leave a comment below. And again, please like, subscribe, and share with your friend. Do you know the boat guy?